everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I am back from my trip from Universal Studios Wizarding World and I have a huge haul for you guys. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So I do have a lot of things that I want to show you for my recent trip to Universal Studios Wizarding World. I've got lots and lots and lots of bags. <laughs> so I have like two big items and then some smaller items I believe. I feel like I've already forgot some of the stuff that I bought. So let's just start digging into it. I'll save the bigger items for last. There is this little bag that we'll start off with and then we'll just make it through the rest of this pile. All right, item number one that I bought. All right, this was one of the main things that I wanted to buy for my trip. I didn't actually mean to buy all of this stuff. I sometimes give myself a list of things that I wanna get when I before I get there so that way it doesn't get out of hand but I was impulsive and I ended up buying more stuff. But that's okay. <laughs> So the first item is the Hermione Yule Ball dress. It's a Christmas ornament actually, but I am going to hang this one up on my pin board next to the Ron Weasley dress robes. I think Hermione and Ron should be together. I wish they had this option in blue. I would have preferred that so it's more like book accurate than movie accurate, but it's still a very pretty dress. And these retail for $21.95, but it's so cute and I'm happy to be able to display this like all year round instead of just for Christmas because it is a pretty pricey Christmas ornament. But that is item number one. Let's dig into the next item. All right, we'll go into this bag. Oh, <laughs> so I bought myself the Gryffindor lanyard. They didn't have this the last time I was there. They didn't have it in the Gryffindor colors. And I like that it kind of resembles a tie. And I do like to wear my pass on my like necklace. I do have another option that has the Deathly Hollows on it. But this one I let my mom use while we were there. So this is actually her pass. And they do sell these separately. So this little plastic piece is a dollar. And then I think the lanyard was around $10. I already took the price tag off because she did wear it while we were there, but we did get that. Next, we got some candy from Honeydukes and I got the Exploding Bonbons. So these are orange and pineapple flavor bonbons is what they're called. So it's like a white chocolate outside and then it's got like pop rocks inside. So we did try this while I was there when we were just getting some butterbeer and we had some sweets behind the three broomsticks. It was very magical. <laughs> but the packaging is so cute and I've actually had this on my Honeydew shelf and I have not tried it because those ones are just for display. But now I can say that I've tried this and I think they're very good, especially for like theme park candy. I think these retail for $10, yeah, $9.95. And I believe all of their candy prices have gone up. I feel like they used to be around like eight something, but that's theme parks. Ooh, the next three items are the exact same. And then that's it for this bag. So they're all nice and wrapped up. I actually bought these in Nocturne Alley in Bergen and Bork. So here is the creepy little skull that I bought. So I was looking for these the last time I was at Universal because I saw Allie buy these in one of her Universal hauls. I'll link her video down in my description box below, but they didn't have them. I thought like they weren't going to sell them anymore. And I think she bought three of them too, so she could kind of stack them on her dark art shelf. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with mine. They're so creepy. All right, let's open them all up. All right, here is all three of them. And this is kind of how I'm going to display them over on my dark art shelf. They are super creepy. And they're kind of like, I think ceramic, maybe resin material, but yeah, they're kind of cute because they're so tiny. <laughs> All right, next bag, I got a plushie. I think this is the only plushie I got. I'm not that into like collecting them, but now that I have the reading nook, I kind of like having a little corner for plushies. So I have the Festerl, I have a little Hedwig pillow, and then I have a tiny little picket on there. So now to add to that is the Wizarding World Snowman. He's so cute. He has his Gryffindor scarf on. And I think this is just cute because I can also display it around like Christmas time 
but I'll be keeping it out all year round and it will be sitting over on my reading nook. And this retails for $22. And here's a little close up of the cute little snowman. And he does stand up pretty good on his own. He's kind of got like little beans in his bottom. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> and then the rest is like all plushy and super soft. So yeah, I'm glad that they finally restocked this because I haven't seen this there in quite some time. So I was very happy about that. <laughs> oh, and speaking of restocking things, this was another item that I really wanted and I haven't seen there in a while. I thought they were maybe like discontinuing it. I never know, but I think they were just out of stock of it for a little while, but it's in here. Let me take it out. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to keep all of this. Look how so much they gave me for this item. That's, that's crazy. That was a little excessive, but glad it stayed safe. <laughs> all right. You know, I have an obsession with mugs. And this mug has been on my wish list for so long. I love it. It is a butterbeer barrel mug and it's on both sides, which I appreciate. So either way that you are drinking it, you have a display to you and to whoever is looking at you while you're drinking. <laughs> but it's a great size. I love this mug. I'm so happy they had this. This is like there. I noticed this in one of the shops the last day I was there. So I'm so happy and it retails for 25 and I think it's worth every penny because it's super cute <laughs> and I can't wait to start drinking some of my coffee out of it. But yeah, I got my Butterbeer mug. All right, I think we've got like only four more bags but they still have a lot of stuff in them. So we'll go to this one. It's a pretty stuffed bag and it's pretty heavy. Let's get what's in here. Oh, yes. This is like the first stuff I bought like the first day I was there. There is quite a lot in here. What did I buy? Oh yeah. I feel like I went a little overboard on this trip. So this item I've wanted for a while, but I didn't know where you could buy it. And then Carla um, with Geo Jammies, she bought it and said that she got it in the Gringotts little store. Don't know what it's called. Is it called? It's like the store right next to Gringotts. You can see a goblin in there. There's not much you can buy. You can, it's a money exchange. That's the store. So I finally got one. I want three total, but they're pretty expensive. So this is the item. It is a gold bar, but it's not just any gold bar. It's a Gringotts one and it has some plastic around it. And the shop doesn't really have like stuff that you can buy in there. Like you'll see like one wall of things displayed. And I saw like a couple of these displayed over there, but they're all damaged. So I just asked, do you have more of those? And they do have them in the back. So just ask and that's how you can purchase one yourself. And these do retail for $18.95. So that's exactly why I only got one of them, but this is gonna go with the rest of my little Gringotts collection. I'm slowly but surely building that shelf out. But so happy to finally have one of these in my collection. And it's super heavy. You could definitely use this as like a paperweight if you wanted to. <laughs> All right, my next item is probably my only apparel item, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. So they have new Fantastic Beast merch out for the new movie Secrets of Dumbledore. And the shirt I saw, I just had to get. It is a Hogshead t-shirt. So the front is pretty plain. It just has this one little emblem here for the hog's head and it's in a navy blue. If it's picking up well on the camera, can't tell. I think it is. And no, uh, that's just the front. <laughs> but the back is so beautiful. So it's the hog's head and it's at hog's knee. So it's so cute. It has the snow on top. I just thought it was a really cute design and I don't have that much Fantastic Beast merch or clothing, so I'm happy to have this. I might wear this one to the movie premiere when it comes out. And I got mine in a medium. I think they're like unisex sizes, but it's a little long if I, but I like how it fits like um, the rest of the way, like the width. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm describing that poorly, but yeah, that's the t-shirt I bought. And this retails for $30. All right, the next two items I got are from Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. And the first one is this decoy detonator. So I wanna put this on my Weasley shelf. It's such a cute packaging. I think I'll even keep the box. We'll see how it all fits, but let's go ahead and open it up because I'm not sure how big is it. 
how big it is. I didn't see any outside the box in the shop. Maybe I did. I just don't remember. And it is a functioning toy. You can see in the back here. And this retails for $18.95. And it's very light. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks just like the movies. <sighs> okay. I'm so happy I finally bought this. It's so cute. It's going to look so good on the shelf. So you can pull this little tab out and I guess spin this. No? How do you do it? I didn't read it. It walks and makes sound, so I must pull it back. <gasps> that was so loud. Okay, so that's how it works. Um, <laughs> that's cool that it does work, though. I like that. But it's going to look so cute on the shelf. I don't know if maybe I'll display something like that with the box behind it. We will see, but that is my Weasley purchase. My second Weasley purchase, can you guess what it is? <laughs> All right, it's a candy item. <laughs> it's You Know Poo. <laughs> and I think they're just like chocolate M&M kind of candy, but I'm gonna leave it in the packaging because I think it's so cute. It's something I've been wanting for a while. It's glass and it's cute. So this retails, it doesn't say, I think this one was around nine or $10. And yeah, it's funny and the packaging is very cute. Constipation sensation that's gripping the nation. <laughs> Some other items that were in that bag. So I got another Mina Lima print postcard thing. <laughs> and this one is lenticular and it's of the Daily Prophet with Harry the Boy Who Lived. So I think this one I'm gonna be putting on my pin board because this is from the Goblet of Fire and I've been wanting to make that pin board just Goblet of Fire themed. So this will be a perfect little centerpiece that I'm gonna be putting up there. And I love that it's gold foiled. It's so pretty. I love these. I like to frame these too. They're just a great inexpensive like souvenir that you can purchase from there because this is only $6 and it is licensed and by Mina Lima. So it's just, so beautiful and perfect so I love these cards the next two items are stationary purchases so the first one is this notebook it's in some plastic wrap so let me take it out it does have the price on the plastic wrap so I'll show that to you quickly so this one is $36.95 and what's really cool about these stationary items is that they're kind of like replicas from what they actually used in the films so if you like pay attention to like their notebooks you'll recognize these so this is the first one it's so cute I guess I should take this off too. It says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry Replica Exercise Book. Artwork originally created for Harry Potter films. See, it says it right on there. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love this so much. And it is designed by Mina Lima. And then the inside, and this one's a hardback. So this one is more expensive than the second one I'm gonna be showing you. But the pages inside are just plain line pages thing crazy about that it's really just the outside let me give you a close-up of those pages so if you didn't see but yeah I'm so happy to finally have this I think it's gonna look so cute I'm gonna keep it on my shelves it'll be great for some flat lay pictures all right here is the second one so this is the Gryffindor styled like composition book they have these I think in all of the Hogwarts house colors I believe they had a yellow one for sure they might have been out of stock of the other ones like want to say that they come in all four colors normally let me take the plastic wrap off oh and the price is on the plastic wrap again so this one is $16.95 but that's because this one's not hardback this one's a little more flimsy but here is the front and then here is the back side it just has the wizarding world logo and it says hogwarts composition book 140 lined pages here at the bottom and that is all that's in here is just some lined pages so if you want to have a little magical composition book you should definitely get this one <laughs> but i'm going to use mine mainly for pictures i don't know if i'll write in them maybe maybe one day but i think they look so cute together so i had to pick these up this was actually on my list of something that i wanted to buy when i was planning on going there so i'm glad i didn't forget to get these and i'm glad they were in stock all right, we're getting to the end. I have one more smaller bag and then I have got the bigger purchases. 
soon hereafter. So let's get this stuff out. I got two more cards that were Mina Lima. So they had the Gryffindor one that has lots of gold foiling, so pretty. And then they also had the Slytherin one. I want to get all four houses and then possibly frame these ones because I like the colors. I think they go really well in my room. Currently, since I have a lot of reds going on and there's a lot of red in these. So I'll keep an eye out for the other two to get stocked, hopefully by my next visit that I'm there. I know I have a couple more visits um, this year planned out, so that's really nice. And these are both $6 as well. Next is in here, another fragile item. So this is a brand new item to the parks. I think they got stocked like the weekend that I was there because I've never seen them before. And it comes in all four houses. If you saw my vlog, you would have seen these already, but I did get the Gryffindor version of these mugs and it has courage, determination, bravery on this side. And then it's got some of the Gryffindor like icons and things. So we've got the sort of Gryffindor here. It says determination on the top. It's got a little crown. And then you see that peeking inside. It's got the Gryffindor Lion. I love the details of this cup. I love the shape. I love the color. I like that it's kind of like tapered and it's not just like a plain old mug, but I was so happy to pick this up. And this is one merchandise item that like I would want to collect all of the Hogwarts houses. I don't do that with everything, but these mugs, I really liked them in the other houses. Like I almost preferred the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff one over the Gryffindor one, but since this is my Hogwarts house, I did just pick up this one, but the other ones were so cute. Like the Ravenclaw one even had the color blue and bronze, which we don't always see in licensed merch. And I did notice that. So I thought that was really cool, but really happy to have picked up this mug. And this mug was $20. All right, I do have one more item before I get to the bigger items. And this is something that I actually picked up for a friend, but I could not believe I saw it because I saw this in Gryffindor and Slytherin. They were discontinuing the other house uh, sweaters, <laughs> is that whatever they're called, the like crewnecks. And they were clearancing them down to only $44 from 65, I think is what they originally retailed. But I found a Ravenclaw one and one of my friends here locally is a Ravenclaw. So I text her, I'm like, do you want me to pick this up for you? And she did want this. So it was perfect. It was her size. It was the very last one. I just kind of saw it hidden with other merchandise at the Universal store, like in City Walk. That's where I found this one. And it's so cute. So shout out to Ravenclaws. <laughs> All right, we're finally at the last two items. All right, the first item I'll show you is gonna be inside this box. You recognize this kind of packaging? <laughs> so the, in this box is a Noble Collection item. This is not something that was actually on my wish list to get this year, but ever since I started doing that kind of Goblet of Fire shelf and wall, I've been thinking about other things to get and fill that in. One item that's actually not this, it's from Noble Collection that I want is a Triwizard Cup, but they don't have it in the US. Noble Collection's website available and it's sold out at the UK one. So maybe eventually I'll be able to add that to my collection. But since that's not something I can actually get right now, I saw this, I'm like, you know what? This goes with the Goblet of Fire theme. <laughs> I can make this work for that. All right, I'm getting it out of the box now. <laughs> so cool, okay. It is the Firebolt. It's a little mini replica of it and it's got some good weight to it. This piece is actually metal and I'm guessing the rest is like resin. I'm sure it's got like a metal core to it because it's pretty heavy and the kickstand actually comes out and you can display it like this. It comes with a little base that you can use to display it on that says Firebolt on it. The back side has the licensing information, but it's so cute. I don't know if I'll use this to display because I want it to go on my shelf and I think this will be too long, but I will be putting this up like this on my shelf. It's gonna look so cute. I'm gonna put it next to the golden egg, I think. <gasps> I love it. Since he uses his Firebolt to retrieve the golden egg, that's why I'm considering this the Goblet of Fire theme. It's so detailed and beautiful. I love it. Look how cute it is. 
love this. So this was $65 from Universal and I think it's 60 or 55 on Noble Collections website. I might be wrong with the prices. I'll put it on the screen. I just don't have the price information on the box. They kind of have them in display cases with a little label next to them, but I'm so happy about it. So this is one of my impulse buys, but I know where I'm gonna be putting it. That's kind of the thing with like buying some of these bigger pieces. I won't buy them now unless I know exactly where I'm gonna be putting them. So I really wanted the boar head pitcher. I did not buy that, that's not the next item <laughs> because I can't figure out where I wanna display them. Maybe if I do some rearranging on my shelves, I could fit it in and I could buy it in the future. But for now, that's kind of how I'm trying to buy stuff. This is how it gets displayed with the little base underneath it. So I wanted to show you that too before we move on to the next item. All right, the next item is something that's been on my wish list. I know exactly where I wanna put this. I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy about this. Okay, so this is also from Noble Collection. I know you probably can kind of see it, but it is on back order, I think. It doesn't say it's gonna be in stock until about June. So when I saw it at Universal, it was an additional $5 than what it's listed on Noble Collection. On Noble Collection, this is 95, but at Universal, it was 100. So I didn't mind paying $5 more for an item that I really wanted and I could get right now. So it is the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, but it's so cool. So this is the packaging. <laughs> so let's take it out and I will show you what it looks like when other ends. We are opening this end first. All right, I finally got it out of the packaging. I did struggle a little bit, but I got it out. <laughs> so here is the base. So it said the Sorcerer's Stone on the bottom. It's got this blue felt material on top. Same kind of felt material on the bottom with the licensing information. And then it's got this little piece that's gonna hold the stone and this is metal. And then you can twist it and tighten it in place. Let's look at the stone. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I've been wanting this replica for so long. It looks just like it does in the movie. So pretty. You can kind of see through it with the light. <gasps> Try not to be behind it so you can kind of see the light shine through it like that. Oh, pretty. Okay. <laughs> really love that. I've heard it's kind of difficult to secure it in place, but I will try my best. Not exactly sure how it's done. All right, I think I did it right. <sighs> Cause it's in there. <sighs> it's so pretty, I love it. So that is the last item. There is a little dome, glass dome lid that goes on top. My face through it. <laughs> so this is officially what it looks like, but see there's a lot of reflection. I might display it without the dome, just so I don't have that reflection always, but it's so perfect. It's gonna go on my little first year Sor Sorcerer's Stone shelf. And that is actually everything that I got from Universal Studios Wizarding World. I am so happy with all my items. And this was quite a big haul. We got some like bigger pieces in here and I'm just, had a blast when I went on my recent trip with my mom and I had a lot of fun shopping, clearly. <laughs> but that is going to wrap up today's video. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item in today's haul was. And as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.